Hi, in this video we are going to see the simulation of IoT and Arduino based fire detection for sensing the fire. We have a sensor logic state here, which is connected to the 8th pin of Arduino and LCD are connected to this pins and at the 9th pin we have connected to the relay, with relay driver IC, ULN 2003A and RX. TX pin for the communication purpose we have connected COM pin, communication port to the computer port we have connected to a Wi-Fi module that I will explain later. This is the hardware required to connect to the computer. This is USB to TTL and this USB cord, USB mini cord here we have ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and we have some arrangement to give power to this Wi-Fi module and this is a connector to connect the adapter or battery to give 5 volt to the Wi-Fi module. Now we will connect this module to the computer and see the simulation. So this is the code so we have connected LCD here and our input and output here. For connecting the Wi-Fi we have to require to connect Wi-Fi module to the internet we require hotspot of this SSID FX kits and this password and that hardware. So I have already shown you how to create the hex file, export compile binary so after compilation done compilation, this hex file will be generated. So this hex file we upload here. We select this hex file. OK. So now we will simulate, before simulating I will show the output where we can see along with the LCD. So this is the, this is the cloud thing speak. Here data will come and this is the indicator. Views the condition of the sensor. If it is fire detected it will glow red, if fire is not detected it will condition like this. Means it will be off. So present our situation is fire is not detected, so it is in off condition. So now let's we simulate and check this on cloud. So I am now simulating this so I have already connected, I have already made the hotspot that SSID and password. Like you can see the serial communication here. So if Wi-Fi is not connected it will give you like that, again you can simulate. So connecting to the Wi-Fi, it's connected now. Now it's connected to the Wi-Fi so it is showing you flame sensor fire detector. Relay is on, bulb is on. So when I change data, now change the sensor input. So it is showing no flame detected. Relay is off. Sending data to the cloud, field value 0. So, flame sensor no fire detected. When again I change the sensor value from high to low and again fire detected. Relay is on, bulb is on, data sent to the cloud field value 1. So you can see on the cloud, See here it becomes red, full red. Now data value will be here. Now time is 8 21, 20, 21. See date 20th of January, 20 July and time is 20, 21. This value and this value just came. Now this is red, when again sensor changes value here it goes dim. So I am changing the value of the sensor from low to high. So flame is not detected, relay off, data value again will send. See it send, data value sending. So you can check on the cloud it's become dim. So 
So when again sensor changes the value from low to high when flame detected LCD will display fire detected, relay gets on, bulbs on. Data value will send to the cloud, sending the cloud. Now it sends. Now you check on the cloud. See it's full red. So like this way we can send multiple robbery sensor data to the cloud and see the variation. Thank you.